Hey everyone, to my soon welcome to another sort of Convalaria video. Now the official Twitter has just announced the next event, and it's upon the scorched earth. As you can see, of course, the main character is gonna be Simona and Alex. That's right. This is gonna be a mini story event that's centered around Simona, and will be starting on the 30th when her banner drops. Now this is a very very interesting event because the rewards in this event is absolutely goaded. Okay, let's just jump to the chase and take a look at the radiant powder 50,000 times 15 again i'm on the test server that's why i have access to this and uh, let me be clear okay this is not the final version and i'm only able to show this because the official twitter page has updated event information so yes just making this clear so i don't get spanked by the devs all right i'm trying to give you guys some early information so please subscribe to the channel because i will be releasing early access information as soon as i'm allowed to from the developers the test servers okay so anyhow this event is insane i mean look at this 15 times 50,000 is 750,000 worth of the radiant powder. You can see that everything else got a nice little boost as well. The radiant ores that you'll need, the uh, taro essence, and um, even the legendary gear. You now have six of them, okay? It's going to be the mix, the trinket, plus the weapons, which is a bit more than the previous one. Of course, the secret fate this time is three, okay, instead of four. So we lost one in the shop, but in the storyline campaign, there's actually quite a few of story as you can see stresses all the way down there so you will be able to obtain every time you go through the intervals and the acts you will be able to get these uh, hoplites so it's gonna be quite quite nice now i know what you guys are thinking wait this event starts on the 30th and we still have the in-game event running as well from the official server you can see now this is i'm on my own account on the official server and uh, if we take a look at the elysium feast this event will run from the 16th all the way to the 11th so there is indeed a bit of an overlap okay which is very important for you to pay attention to the stamina use now going back into my sort of common area community sheet which i'll link in the description as well you can see that um, some of the rewards the important ones i have mapped out um, it doesn't really cost a lot as in you don't have to clear the entire shop to get the most important stuff right and like i've said the legendary ore previously was 10 but in the current event if i go back to it you will see that uh, it is now uh, 60 so we got a humongous bump uh, in terms of rewards so it might make more sense if you are a bit more free to play to actually only do the double rewards during the last few days of the paradise uh, feast um, and then spend the rest of your stamina on doing the double rewards for the simona event and spending some stamina there again i'll do the calculations so you can see you know what is the total cost to exchange all of these because of course there are more this time around so potentially you know you're going to be having to exchange a bit more but i'll do the math for you don't worry about that okay now looking at the storyline campaign uh it's very similar to what we have gone through the acts and the interval so i'm not going to go too much into that and the drama you can see there are eight difficult stage, uh, difficulty stages and the last one being 810 and similarly once you start you will be able to use characters that gives you bonus drops so um I actually didn't have to go into the stage. I can just show you with the bonus drop page. So let me actually just get out of that. There we go. And as I exit out of this, you will see that uh, there are uh, going to be different currencies as well. You have TPs, which is unlock attributes and tactics in Tactical Awakening. Now, I'm going to leave this as a mystery for now, okay? Because again, this event is not out just yet. Uh, I'll show you guys when the, we are one day before the event is released so i can show you what the tactical event and all that stuff is uh, namely because i haven't gone that far but anyhow you can see these are the characters that gives you drop bonuses so this time what's going to be different is not only are you going to farm for the event currencies the trophies that you can exchange in the shop you will also be farming for these uh, tactical awakening stuff that you can use in tactical awakening uh, part of the game which you unlock after the storyline campaign act 10 of course, you can see that uh, storyline campaign is here and Act 10. I'm almost there. Okay, once I unlock it, of course, I'll have an updated video just before the event is available on the live servers. So don't worry, you'll have every single information you need along with the store calculations before this event is live for you. But I just want to show you guys that, uh, um, you know, this event is going to be taking place on the 30th. So just about a week. And it's very, very exciting because we got a huge number of rewards. I mean... Just the radiant powder is enough to make me drool, and everything else got bumped as well. Uh, notably, 
unfortunately, Sacred a uh, secret fate got bumped to one less, but like I said, the story will give you a bit more. But everything else is pretty much the same. There's nothing that really stands out. You've got your unnamed stars, right? Instead of, um, I think, uh, did we get unnamed star? We got star glow and star pike. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same. It's the same. Yeah, I'm just checking and comparing to the uh, what I have written down here. So pretty much, um, star glow thirty, star pike. Uh, 30 and we have a star glow 30 star bike 30 and unnamed star which uh, i believe is new then right because i don't see it on that one so maybe this is potentially new or i haven't written down in my thing but uh, you can let me know in the comments down below uh, but anyhow i'm super super excited for this uh, event because the rewards are very very nice and having two events run aside each other i think it's okay because by the time this event comes we should be done with the main storyline of our um, elysium feast or whatever it's called yeah elysium feast um, which means that we only need to spend the two sweeps a day to get the maximum rewards and then the rest you know we can spend on clearing this and also we have the uh, fool's journey updated as well so the stamina uh, allocation is very straightforward right we're not going to be spending a lot elsewhere uh which in my opinion is quite good because then i don't have to think i just dump it in the whatever game modes we have that offers double rewards and i'm looking forward to what's coming next because i can see some really really juicy stuff on the test server uh, but again if i don't have permission i cannot show you guys but i'm very very much <laughs> looking forward to what's coming up in the september updates because yeah this is pretty much simona banner plus our event at the end of um, um august right so we're going to be jumping into super them but these are pretty much event um formats that we'll be having some side story that's relevant to the character and the story and then you'll have your sweep uh, with bonus characters offering bonus event currencies allowing you to then exchange for some goodies and these goodies should be getting better and better uh, as we are on a two weekly rushed banner schedule so hopefully devs are aware of that i've fed that back to them as well so i think we'll be seeing something very very interesting uh with the next banner Again, more information will come on my channel as soon as I'm allowed to say it. So subscribe if you haven't and do not miss out on the interesting stuff. So yeah, that's all. The quests are pretty much the same as well. You just have to clear some uh, certain stages and uh, meet the achievements in order to collect all of these extra freebie currencies. But otherwise, super straightforward. You're going to do this event and you're going to really enjoy it. The story so far has been great and i think uh, it's gonna make you want to post simona as well uh because her storyline is uh really really nice along with alex who's instantly the double rate up character on the double rate up banner so uh yeah let me know thoughts are you going to be pulling for these characters are you going to be pulling for simona because again i will be having the should you post simona video coming up uh just a couple of days i guess we have her banner about uh five six days so i need to make that and then the simona guide once she is fully released i already have her on the test server so i'll be able to make the teams as well as the build guide for you guys so anyhow thank you so much guys for watching and uh, yes i do hope they increase the rewards of the shop more and more as we get along um, and push through a um, accelerated schedule because we are definitely going to need more polls that's the most important part all right so once again it's demise here and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye now